Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to do something that I mentioned I was going to do on Monday's video, and that is partly talk about what I talked in talked about in the stream on Sunday, and that is the Hungaro Ring Formula One race that took place in Hungary in the city of Budapest, and it was an interesting one, very confusing, and it all started on lap one when it was a very wet lap one. It was chucking it down with rain, and it started off pretty well. Hamilton ripped away from the rest of the field. Lando Norris had a belter of a start. Valtteri Bottas not so much, and this is where things went horribly wrong very quickly. Ah, oh, dear God. Valtteri went a little bit late on the brakes, which didn't help anything, as it was also raining, so that really messed stuff up, because... He somehow caught the side of Lando Norris. He also caught the back of Sergio Perez. And Lando Norris crashing into Bottas also caused him to crash into Verstappen. And then Lance Stroll knocked into Charles Leclerc, who knocked into Daniel Ricciardo. Yeah. And that was on the first corner. And at that point, four drivers went out of the race immediately. Being... Bartas, Sergio, Charles Leclerc, and Lance Stroll. Those four drivers were just knocked out there and then. Pretty simple. And then the starting grid for the restart was um, also interesting. As during the red flag period, oh by the way this was red flagged, Lando Norris had to retire from the race as his car was completely banjaxed. It was just, it, it couldn't have been driven apparently. It looked okay, but the McLaren guys know what they're doing. The, uh, the Red Bull team also duct taping Max Verstappen's car. So how he restarted, I don't know. But Lando Norris tragically had to retire, which which took the DNF toll up to five. There's one more to come, don't worry, I'll get to that in a bit. So, the restart came. Everyone came into the track for dry tyres, because... They were starting to dry up. Mercedes, however, were not convinced and left Lewis Hamilton out on intermediates. Which left us to a very funny restart. Everybody started from the pits except for Lewis Hamilton. He was the only person to start on the starting grid. And it was absolutely hilarious. I don't know what Mercedes were thinking, but it was just really funny to see. It was Lewis Hamilton and the safety car at the back. And I'm pretty sure everyone let themselves laughing. I'm, I'm sure of it, because it was just too funny. Anyway, the restart occurred. Lewis had a fairly decent getaway. And then we had some weird, weird things go on throughout the race. Um, Lewis Hamilton ended up going to the back because he had to pit for dry tyres. Hmm, if only he said that the track was drying up. Hmm, well done, Mercedes. So that knocked him quite far back. At one point, he was last, which in which at this point was only 14th. Because of that other driver retirement. During that initial pit stop, Nikita Mazepin and Kimi Raikkonen got involved in an accident. Kimi Raikkonen was unsafely released from the Alfa Romeo pit box, and... Um, just as Nikita Mazepin was coming out, he knocked straight into him and knocked Nikita Mazepin out of contention. And the race. Yeah, so that was the sixth and final DNF for the race, thank God. So, we had some pretty strange goings on throughout the rest of this race. For example, at one point Mick Schumacher was in the points, in the Haas. I don't know either. Nicholas Latifi and George Russell both finished in the points, which was the first points win for Williams in I don't know how long at this point. It was the first ever points finish for both of them in Formula One, which made George Russell actually cry, which was really, really nice to see. And yeah, there was a, a massive battle for, I, can't, I think it was eighth place between Yuki Tsunoda and Lewis Hamilton. Yuki and Lewis. 
What? And, to be fair to good old Yugi, he held Lewis back for quite a few laps. Like, I was very impressed. And then, a few laps later on, towards the end of the race, there was another battle, this time for fourth. Oh no, for fifth, sorry. And that was between... Lewis Hamilton, oh no, it was for fourth, between Lewis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso. I was stunned, because Fernando Alonso held Lewis back for a good five or six laps. So that man, having just turned 40, has still got it in him. He's still good. And he eventually got past Fernando, which led to a very strange lineup on the podium, because he also passed Carlos Sainz fairly quickly. God damn it, Ferrari. Although, Lewis on podium's always a win. Although it wasn't a win for him. Hey. So, the podium at the end of the race was very weird. Esteban Ocon won the race. His first ever win in Formula 1 and his first single-seater win since Formula 3. Yeah. And then it was Sebastian Vettel P2, which has since been changed due to him not ha having enough fuel at the end of the race. So he is now P. I'm actually disqualified, actually, um, which has knocked Carlos Sainz up to P3 and Lewis Hamilton up to P2, which has extended his championship lead on Max Verstappen from six points to eight. As Max Verstappen also just about finished in the points after the Vettel disqualification, he was P9. Yes, P9, which meant Nicholas Lasifi, I think, was P6 and George Russell became P8. And so it was a very good race for most of the teams, apart from the ones that had half of their driver lineups crash out. Ooh. Of which there were only four, it turns out. It seemed there was a lot more drivers that went out. And yeah, it was frankly the craziest race I have ever seen. It was absolutely fantastic, but crazy. There was so much chaos. I The, the race felt like it was a whole day. But no, it was only about two and a half hours. I couldn't quite believe that, and I don't think anyone could. So yeah, frankly, my top three races of the season so far. Of course, we are now finishing for the summer break, so there will not be a Formula One race for three weeks. I'm not ready for that. Uh, anyway, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. So as always, people, don't forget to like this video, Subscribe to mine and Roxanne's and Frost's YouTube channels. The links will be in the description. My sub button is down there. Yep, that big red one, unless you've already subbed. And it's grey. Thanks for that, by the way. And once you've done that, don't forget to click all three of our bell icons to get all three sets of our notifications. Comment as well, because why not? And let me know what you thought of this race if you saw it. Very stressful. Once you've done that, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Stereo. Don't forget as well to follow Roxanne on her blog and Frost on his Instagram. Those links will also be in the description. My links will be in the link tree, of course, as always. And lastly, of course, don't forget to share this video with all of your friends. They've joined the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye.